My name is Masi Birunji from Kampala, Uganda. I got to go to primary school and secondary school and then just like any other normal student, some people get to have tuition challenges and others don't get to have them. But I was the child who was always called out for tuition, tuition pending tuition and this really kind of affected my education but my mom kept on telling me to always believe for the best and to always hope for the best so this kept me moving and kept me determined and through this I was able to thrive in school despite the gender differences because in my school most of the times the boys were praised more than the girls and sometimes when a boy when you perform better than a boy they say that the boy they praise they, they actually act in wonder and amusement because they don't believe a girl can do as good as a boy but then with the different with the different podcasts and motivation I used to get from my sisters and my mom it used to keep me moving and it used to they used to encourage me and tell me that I can do anything as long as I put my mind to it so I kept on despite the tuition challenges and the gaps I got in between my education I kept on pursuing different online courses um, wanting to, because I'm the kind of person who always believes that learning never ends, even though I get a chance to learn something that is not related to something that I really want to do, as long as I choose to pick the right information out of it, I pursue it. I heard about Akira Chicks through a STEM group I'm in, so someone just sent a link and they didn't even say anything about it and since I said I'm a curious person, I was like, let me check it out. Because I wasn't studying, I was just volunteering in different organizations in order to gain my experience. Because I'm the kind of person who always believes that if the education has refused, at least let me go volunteer and not just sit at home. Yeah. So I decided to check it out. I first did my research and I saw the amazing things they were talking about Akira Chicks and I was blown away and I was like, let me do further research so that I don't get myself into a scam, you know. So, <laughs> but then I, I, I did the research. I got to watch the different videos that the students had, you know, recorded. So this actually gave me a confirmation that this is the thing for me. And when I also told my mom about it, she really said that this is your, this is your chance to shine because if, the, if there's someone willing to educate you for free and they're not asking you for a single penny, just take it on. It was the best time of my life. It was the best moment of my life. I remember I was first in shock and then filled with a lot of excitement at the same point. I cannot explain that situation, but it was like a total turn, out, turn around for my life because I started thinking about the things I was going to study, um, how my mom would react when I told her, how my siblings would react. So it was just the best moment of my life. Um, when I arrived, Nairobi. Um, first, I was impressed by the welcome, the welcome I received. Um, there was a group of students who guided me to my room. Um, the beds were well spread for us. It's like we were princesses. It actually gave us that feeling of actually you are, it was home. It was so peaceful. Everyone was willing to help you out. Uh, I remember there was also certain students who were assigned to each and every one of us and they were to be our big sisters and they just told us each and everything that we're, supposed, what we're going to do throughout the year. So this really, you know, comforted me that despite the fact that I had left Uganda to come to a foreign place, I'd still find a family around these people that I found, yes. <music> My big sister is Wendy. Um, it was really, I can say it was really um, an uplifting time because, okay, an eye-opening period because I remember the first day she came to us. Okay, we were 
she was our big sister and then also, there were also three other girls of which she was to mentor us. So um, she used to sit us down and tell us, we used to ask her different questions like how, would you, how did you thrive, how did you manage to, you know, take in all this because at that point we are just being introduced to the different programming languages and there's a lot of confusion because most of them were related. So she used to tell us how she, what she did in order to be at the place she's at right now and what she did to be able to complete her studies while at Akira Chicks. Uplifting, um, eye-opening, and a lot to take in, yes, but um, there's been a lot of growth. Everything is about the program is eye-opening because First, I would start with the different program, different cost units that help develop one's professional, one professionally. Now, like navigating your journey, whereby someone gets to discover what their values are, and you know, without these values, one cannot thrive in the industry. And then also professional development, where one gets to learn about how they're supposed to carry themselves and present themselves out there and also the way someone is supposed to, the way you communicate with each and every one. So this was really eye-opening for me because before I came, I really didn't know what my values were and when I, because I didn't know my values, I really didn't know what to stand up for and how to, how to carry my life. The uplifting bit is about um, because I'm the kind of person who I said I like creating things, so um, these different languages like Python, um, mobile development, whereby um, I've always wanted to create a solution for people, that a, a solution that people can use, and something that can create change in society. So um, this has been really uplifting to me because I finally found something. I, fi I was finally shown something, a way that I could follow that will actually help me create these things that I want to create and make change in society.